the depths that some people in this country will go to just for attention is genuinely disturbing and depressing. Nonetheless, we have a situation where somebody who trolled AOC by literally filming himself sexually harassing her, I'm of course talking about right-wing provocateur Alex Stein, well, he's now suing her because after he sexually harassed her and filmed himself doing so, she blocked him on Twitter, and now he's taking her to court alleging that his First Amendment rights have been violated. Now, for those of you who don't remember the story, back in July of 2022, AOC posted this on Twitter about the incident, saying, I posted about a deeply disgusting incident that happened today on the Capitol steps, but took it down because it's clearly someone seeking extremist fame. It's just a bummer to work in an institution that openly allowed this, but talking about it only invites more. Just really sad. She continues, here's the video he posted of the incident. I was actually walking over to deck him because if no one will protect us, then I'll do it myself but i needed to catch a vote more than a case today now here's the video that she shared see you're my favorite big booty latina i love you aoc you're my favorite she wants to kill babies but she's still beautiful you look very beautiful in that dress you look very sexy look at that booty on aoc that's my favorite big booty latina i love it my favorite aoc nice to meet you aoc look how sexy she looks in that dress Woo, I love it, AOC. Hot, hot, hot like a tamale. That right there is textbook sexual harassment. And he's doing it for attention and clout. And AOC isn't the only person who he has harassed. He showed up to the, I believe, headquarters of Barstool Sports calling out Dave Portnoy. And he brought some guy in, I think, a diaper. And he does these things to elicit responses and gain notoriety. So AOC, what she was referring to there is his desire to get attention. So what she did is she responded properly to a troll by trying not to feed the troll, and she just blocked him. But in this instance, well, since she is a public figure, he's claiming that his First Amendment rights have been violated, and he's now suing her. Insider reports, in the suit, Stein claims that Ocasio-Cortez was actually flattered by his comments, I'm sure, supposedly evidenced by her flashing a peace sign at him, but blocked him once she realized he was not a political ally. The lawsuit also provides a screenshot from Stein's account showing that he was blocked. Stein's lawyer requests that he immediately be unblocked from the AOC Twitter account, Ocasio-Cortez's personal account, which the suit describes as her de facto official official account. Now, let's be very clear about this. Alex Stein is suing her so he can get more attention. By talking about this right now, unfortunately, we're giving him exactly what he wants. And by looking at his video, reacting to his video in a negative way back in 2022, we all gave him exactly what he wants because there are some grifters online who they thrive on negative engagement because even if it is the case that most of the people who react to them are reacting in a negative way, that's still attention nonetheless. And that still helps him build up his name recognition, get his name out there, and now he has a, a show on The Blaze TV. So by him sexually harassing AOC and subsequently suing her, we have to be real about the fact that this is a troll who is trying to get attention. Having said that, though, there could be merit to his case because, as Insider continues, the suit Knight First Amendment Institute versus Donald J. Trump, in which a federal judge ruled in 2018 that Trump had violated the First Amendment by blocking his critics on Twitter via his personal real Donald Trump account. The ruling established that personal accounts can turn into a governmental one if it becomes an organ of official business. However, another suit, Campbell v. Reich, maintained that certain accounts run by government officials, even those that sometimes tweet about official government government proceedings can still be considered personal and therefore exempt from this rule. So it seems as if there is a lot of legal gray area here and the parameters haven't really been established yet. But because of the Knight First Amendment Institute v. Real Donald Trump case, it does seem as if just as a general rule, politicians, since they are public figures who represent the U.S. government, should not block their critics. However, is there a difference between blocking a critic and blocking somebody who is harassing you because in real life, you can't take legal action against somebody who's criticizing you on the streets. However, if that individual is following you around and screaming at you and harassing you, you can call the cops. You can get a restraining order on that individual. So is social media the same thing? We've also seen how when protesters show up to the offices of politicians, they can get arrested. So is Twitter tantamount to public protest? 
does harassment apply? These are open questions that don't actually have legal answers to. You can make a moral argument against these things, but it's difficult to say legally what exactly is going to happen. Now, AOC actually was sued back in 2019 for blocking somebody who criticized her. And in this instance, it was very clear that she was not being harassed by this individual. So she ended up settling and apologizing to the individual who she blocked, which is a former Democratic state lawmaker in New York who criticized her for calling Trump's migrant detention facilities concentration camps. So according to a court, that violated his First Amendment right. That was legitimate political criticism, even if you and I disagree with it. So the question is, what's going to happen with this case? And it's really difficult to say. Now, AOC has talked about this before and she's defended her reasoning for blocking individuals and she says that harassment is not speech that she has to put up with even though she's a government official in fact here's what she said specifically i have 5.2 million followers less than 20 accounts are blocked for ongoing harassment zero of them are my constituents Harassment is not a viewpoint. Some accounts, like the Daily Caller, posted fake nude photos of me and abused my comments to spread it. No one is entitled to abuse. She added, people are free to speak whatever classist, racist, false, misogynistic, bigoted comments they'd like. They do not have the right to force others to endure their harassment and abuse. So the legal question is, does harassment constitute protected political speech? So... What Alex Stein did there was obviously harassment, and I'm assuming that he subsequently took to Twitter to harass her and brag about sexually harassing her in public. In fact, I think he did. I'm pretty sure I remember that. Uh, but is he entitled to view her posts given that, one, he harassed her? That's not just legitimate political criticism. And two, he's not a constituent of Representative Ocasio-Cortez. And three... Well, he's very clearly just trying to get attention. Is it the case that his First Amendment rights have been violated by AOC? Because if she was forced to unblock somebody who she blocked before, will the same be true here? Well, I think that this case is going to determine legally if there is a distinction between political criticism and harassment. And I'm not qualified to make that legal judgment. Another interesting question is, is an alternative remedy like muting them sufficient? I mean, these are all questions that will be answered by this case, but one thing is for sure, regardless of the merit of this case, it's clear that Alex Stein is a troll and a provocateur, and this is nothing more than his lame attempt at getting attention, but it is a complicated legal question about whether or not lawmakers blocking individuals online is a violation of the First Amendment. We've seen in limited instances that that does indeed seem to be the case. But if it's harassment, does that change anything? Well, I guess we'll find out because of this case. But either way, regardless of what happens in this case, understand that Alex Stein is a troll and is not to be taken seriously by anyone. Were you acting like a... Beta! 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 Beta!